Today on this old house, new technology will stop air infiltration on our entire project. Just got a head start here. Now, how long will it take to pressurize and seal it all up? About 90 minutes. And we put the finishing touch on a wall system that's seven layers deep. What happened to all this plumbing here? I've never seen anything like this before. There's already rot going on in that trunk. So what have you found up here? Well, a bit of a surprise. It's really the classic plumber's lament. Nice. See this main roof form? We're just going to pull that forward to it's even where this existing deck is. Definitely says mid-century modern. The money's in the detail. That is beautiful. Hi there, I'm Kevin O'Connor and welcome back to this old house here in Jamestown, Rhode Island. This is our bungalow project and we're taking it from about 1,000 square feet and doubling it to almost 2,000 square feet. Now you can see that the framing is complete and we're pretty far along with the rough plumbing and electrical. Now our homeowner is trying to get a home that is net zero and that means that the house will only consume as much energy as it can make. And to get there, we have got to get this house really airtight. Well, Richard has found a new technology that's going to help us do that. Air infiltration is a constant battle as we try to make a building energy efficient. And even with new construction, there are plenty of places where there are cracks, penetrations, places where air can leave the building, heat that you've paid for, and cold air can come in. Now, historically, we've always chased after it with caulking and weather stripping. But what if there was a way that we could seal every single crack in a building? It would be a game changer. Jordan Kreitz is going to show us this new technology. Now, it's not exactly new technology, is it? No, this has been around for a little while as far as the concept yeah. in the duct systems. Right, we've used it on duct systems yeah. to seal them up tight. Yeah, so we use uh, positive pressure basically to uh, put a sealant inside and identify those leaks and seal them with the positive pressure. Cool. So you got your blower door test. How's our existing house? This is new construction. Sure. We just completed our test and we're at 3.8 ACH 50. So ACH, that is air changes per hour. How much air would leak out of the building when you're pressurizing it, right? Mm -hmm. So what's What's the worst? Sure. I've seen them as high as in the 20s. Okay. So 3.87, what's that equivalent to? Uh, that'd be the equivalent to probably this window being open about five inches or so. Under pressure. Correct. That's a lot of heat leaving out. Exactly. Okay. All right. So what's the prep that you have to do? Sure. So the prep process will actually uh, tape off the windows so that the sealant doesn't actually seal the windows if they do, in fact, leak some. you got to seal every single opening, anything that's going to leave to outside. Yes. That, that will eventually be closed off. Correct. Okay. So, Richard, what we're going to do is use this hole where the deadbolt will eventually okay. be to simulate an air leak. And we're going to put this mesh here, uh, and we'll actually be able to see the technology seal see this. Seal right up. Okay. Correct. Okay. Good. We'll come back and check that when we're done. Here's the basic setup. Here's our blower door. Yeah, good. The fan right, right there, yeah. So this is what we're going to use to put the positive pressure yeah. in. Uh, here's the laptop that essentially is controlling the whole system and okay. telling everybody what to do. Yeah. This is a pump system inside of this box here that's to going spray to spray the material in. Yeah, it's going to pull the material and pump it through the lines to okay. the spray nozzle. And then this is actually the material here. Oh, the there ceiling. it is, right yep. there. So it looks a little bit like paint in that condition. Very similar. All right. So you ready to go? Yeah. Just got a head start here. Okay, great. Now, how long will it take to pressurize and seal it all up? About 90 minutes. Okay, cool. All right, so it's been about an hour. How'd we do? Uh, we are down to one ACH 50. Wow. So we started at what? 3.8, just under four. Mm -hmm. All right, so that means we can have smaller heating and cooling equipment, right? Exactly. We can right size the mechanicals to the home. Perfect. All right, let's go check the door how we did. Okay. All right, so it's almost completely blocked off. That is really cool. Pretty good. So you're going to pull that? Let's get this off of here. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. The bullseye. Sealed up perfect. Mm hmm. Great. So, is there any place where we can see it going through the outside? Hey, here we go. Right here under the stairs. Uh, so, look at that. Between the old boards, it found a crack, even though there's insulation outboard of it. That is amazing. Yeah. It finds everything. So, what about existing buildings? Do you have to just do new work? No, this can be used in retrofit applications as well. I uh, just need to uh, protect the finished horizontal surfaces in the space. And that's probably got as much possibilities as any. There's a lot of leaky houses out there. A lot. All right, so once we get it this tight, there's one more thing we got to think about, right? Getting fresh air into this building, mechanical ventilation. You got it. All right, that is really something. 
For more This Old House, go to pbs.org slash thisoldhouse, where you can watch full episodes anytime. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This Old House magazine, the companion to our television series, provides trusted information from our team of experts. You can use your credit card to subscribe for one year. That's six issues for $10. Just call 1-800-221-5900.